yeah, we, uh, I've come in and I've, uh, yeah, I'm pretty tired and uh, I've come in and I'm, uh, from sailing, you know, I've been going all day and uh, I'm going to make a, uh, an omelette. It's very quick, takes four minutes, doesn't take much time. And uh, I'll just show you how I make an omelette on uh, Arnie Mist, you know. So first of all, you caram caramelize some onions. So you uh, put that many onions in there. And put that on the uh, gas, all right. You go and get to, uh, these are only small eggs, so we're gonna go for three eggs. Like that. So, yeah, we had quite a good sail, but it's blowing quite hard going to windward. And uh, I had the uh, reef main and the reef jib. And uh, anyway, we got here. And uh, tucked in behind this island and uh, not bad. So you just, uh, you know, use your fork and just beat the eggs for a minute. And then uh, you get some milk, and in a cup you pour in quite a bit, so it's uh, just nearly two thirds, all right, two thirds full of milk. And then what you, the secret ingredient is a cup of soup. This one's a uh, cup of soup, and this is creamy pumpkin. So you just whack that in. Stir that in. Get that stirred in. I get it all in. Whoops! Got it on the on the thing there. So anyway, that's there. That's in there. So the gas is on already. Only on. Uh, only on uh, low. And I put it in there like that. Get, get all that pumpkin soup mixed in if you can. Waste not one, no. That's that. Right, just wipe that up. Now you've got to cook it under the grill. This is, it's like a Spanish omelet I'm uh, doing, right? So you go from here, turn that on, light the gas. Here's where I take my eyebrows off. Yeah, well, that's gone well. Hold it for a second. Yeah, when I bought this boat, it uh, came and uh, built in 1987. And uh, under, that was the alarm going off saying we're under four meters of water. Built in 1987. And uh, it didn't have a gas detector. You just had to turn the, can remember to turn the gas off. Well, I like to lend this to my kids and everything and uh, I don't trust them quite frankly, to turn the gas off. So, uh, and I don't trust gas anyway on a boat, so I put a gas detector in. And uh, this one's a Pell, and it uh, cost me about $500, and then I had to get the gas man to come, who uh, approved it, but didn't really want to know anything about it, because it was already uh, had a uh, gas certificate for it in the back locker from 1987. And uh, it's kind of grandfathered. So once you've got the gas certificate on the, uh, on this particular boat at that age, didn't matter. It was it lasted forever. Anyway, so he just kind of said, "Yeah, okay, well done. For, thank you very much." And still put the old gas certificate in it, and uh, and, let, and left left me too. So anyway, but I've got this thing, and uh, it's very sensitive. I can't. Uh, I've got one gas detector down by the keel, and one in the back locker. And uh, they're very sensitive. I uh, broke a bottle of wine and it spilled down in the bilge. Bloody well couldn't get the thing to work for about two days. Wipe, wipe the gas up and blow, blew it out and everything anyway. But uh, got it going in the end again and it's been very reliable. Uh, yeah, it's coming up. I'll turn that off there. I'll leave that on for now and uh, get my... Uh, Get my plate. Slowly, slowly getting uh, coming up. You can see there it's rising. Just needs a little bit longer. Come on, cook, cook, cook. And uh, 
anyway, and uh, I'd like to thank, uh, you know, the subscribers have, uh, you know, been coming along with me for the ride and, uh, you know, bought me these beers. Well, I won't drink all of them. I drink a bit of wine as well as beers. There's, but uh, I'd like to thank you all for uh, shouting me a beer. I'm, uh, I'm going to buy a computer with it for the next time because it, uh, I, I just need another computer because it takes me for a, ever and uh, so I'm going to get a, a new computer and uh, I'm going to buy another one of the cameras I've got and uh, if you're kind of bidding on eBay for one of these cameras, Panasonic's like I've got can you please let me know because I don't want to bid against you you know I've been bidding in uh, England for one and uh, I've been bidding in the States so and uh, there's one over here as well so if anybody's bidding for one of these cameras then let me know I'll let you have it I, I, I can't afford an expensive one they, they go for about 300 bucks but you can uh, the one in England went for hundred and twenty dollars but that was only after I bid it up from about uh, from about 50 so you know and I don't know if I'm bidding against somebody that you know that I've advertised that wants to get He's going to get a camera, and you know, and there's a guy over there. I think would, uh, I think he's looking for a camera for me, so I might be bidding against my own camera. So anyway, just let me know if you are. Look, now there's my omelette. There it is. There, looks like that. Just uh, hope it's going to come out of here, and just flip it over. And there's your omelette on the thing. And uh, I'm going to cook another one now because uh, I've got a crew on board at the moment. So I can't show it. I can't. Sh uh, not going to show you my crew at right at this moment because uh, it's it's not in a bikini and it's uh, and it's old like me. So you'll see him in a minute when I've got this one done. So I'm going to do one more omelette fast. I'll put that back on the gas just there like that. That'll stay there for a minute. I might crack the bloody plate, but we'll find out. So here we go. So we're going to go three eggs. Two or three eggs. Go, go, go. Get the pumpkin soup. Magic ingredient is a uh, cup of soup. And a bit of wine as well. So, go, go. Right, right here, I forgot the milk. Chuck the milk in. And they taste really good. So you can make these at home. You know, you come in from work, you want something. You know, you just uh, it's quicker than takeaway. A lot, a lot more healthy for you and and quicker. Tell me, you've even rang up on the phone. You, you know, you're nearly there. So oh, don't know how that happened. But the eggs off. Break the eggs up. Cock up that was. Well, that'll do. Whack it under the gas, under the grill. Yeah, I've got a guy called Larry, Larry Earp, and he's in the States. And uh, Larry's been one of my subscribers from right from the beginning. And uh, and Larry, uh, he, uh, he's, he 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 doesn't do uh, you know doesn't he only is there's quite a few people, and they only do emails. They wouldn't even know how to write it on the site, you know that uh, you know uh, 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 below the thing. So anyway, he. Uh, he rang me uh, or emailed me and he said, "Oh, Simon, you know, like I'm. Uh, this is a few, fair few years ago." He said, "Simon, I'm, I'm watching your things, but I'm not very well and I uh, can't sail my boat any longer." 
and uh, he lives in a place called Last Retreat. So, and uh, you think, oh, you know, anyway, so in the States, and so I wrote back to him, you, you know, because you think the worst is coming, and anyway, a couple of years later, I'm coming on this trip, and Larry rings and, uh, and says, Simon, I want to shout you a beer. And uh, he said, oh, yeah, and I, I said, yeah, okay, so I explained how he could shout me a beer, but uh, he couldn't do that. It wasn't his, not, so I, I didn't push it any further. And anyway, I, he got his, his sons uh, came round to see him. And uh, they said, well, well, can, can you just help me? This guy, you want, I want to shout him a beer, some beers. And anyways, so he got his sons, uh, he goes and, said, and they said, what are you doing? So I'm looking at these, these movies on my iPad and uh, th th this guy, you know, he's really good. He goes and sails his boat up the coast and he's the real deal. Anyway, his sons uh, say, oh, you know, well, you've been, what are you watching these on the iPad? You know, why don't you watch them on the TV? He says, well, I, I don't know how to do that. So they go out and buy him a TV, you know, and, uh, and they buy him a, a Chromecast dongle for this TV. And now he's, he's, he's absolutely wrapped. He's watching them all again because they're all, you know, on a massive big TV. He thinks it's brilliant. So anybody out there has already watched my movies before on a blooming computer, I tell you, they look absolutely fantastic on a TV. And you can buy the Chromecast to make any TV into work on YouTube. Or, or iView or any of you know any of those things for fifty dollars, and it works. Uh, your iPad will run it. So anyway, that's what it's like. Now there's the there's my other one, pretty good, ready, ready to go. So turn the gas off, and I get that put it on there. And we're going to sit down and we eat these and they're not bad. A bit of salt and pepper. A glass of wine. What more can a man want? Living the dream. And that's it, James. I'll, I'll sit down and try my omelette. This is non-technical zooming. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> there you go. Nice and fluffy. Oh, it's too hot. Cheers to everyone and uh, thanks for watching. This is Gourmet Omelette on Arnie Mist at Mud Island in Moreton Bay. Thank you.